What's up, nerdlings? What up, nerdlings? Do you nerd for prized possessions in your collections? We've been tagged by Riff from Pixel Game Squad. These are a few of our favorite nerd things. This is Tom and Lizzie, collecting all the things, searching from here to there, finding... Comic book tables, house Legos, and action figs, retro gaming, amiibos, and image prints. Watch as they collect them all. Tom Lizzie collecting right now. Whether you like it and so you nerd it, or you collect what you love, the reason we have these collections is because this is all stuff that we want. We hoard it for a reason. <laughs> Typically, there's a story behind it. And sometimes those things become prized possessions, your favorite things, your most beloved items. We're no stranger to collecting. What are we up to? Two rooms in the house dedicated to Two all the junk half, we hoard? If you count the living room. <laughs> so we were tagged by Riff of Pixel Game Squad, as Lady Lacey said. I'll tag people. Uh, show me, uh, do you nerd? To pick five things. And with all that stuff to choose from, this was not an easy task. No, because we don't have... I mean, I know everybody says it, but we don't have favorites. <laughs> <laughs> Typical <laughs> mom response. <laughs> it's like, I like what I like. I like what I like because I like what I like. First of all, guys, if you have not checked out Pixel Game Squad, if you love anything to do with retro gaming goodness, retro toys, retro anything, or just enjoy the thrill of the hunt for all of the things that we collect, you need to check out their channel. Of course, in the description, not only will there be a link to their channel, but to the video where Riff called us out. Let me head this one up. I am going to start with one of my prized possessions. The Milton Bradley Legend of Zelda board game. Now, this thing has seen better days, but it is complete. And the reason this means so much to me is honestly, I never thought I would have this thing. I am an avid Zelda collector, and of course I would love to have every Zelda game <laughs> in the collection, including this one. But whenever I saw this thing selling online, I was not happy about those prices, and I was not going to pay those prices. We were at a small convention called RubleCon. And one of the first booths, actually, that we stopped by, there was a stack of board games. It was back in the corner. It had stuff in front of it. But once I saw that spine, I didn't hesitate. I grabbed <laughs> it and I told the guy this, I want this. But anything is, is even after we bought it, he asked him if he wanted to hold it for him. And he was like, no, that's okay. I'll carry it. I'll walk around with it. I love just the old school art on here. I love uh, this thing. I hate spiders, but there's something funny about a spider <laughs> arms with hands and an eyeball. <laughs> it does kind of have a little bit of that Zelda flair to it. Do you go to various spots on the map? You collect pieces of heart. And you're looking for the Princess Zelda, and Ganon could even be found in this that game. Look like Zelda. 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 Well, like I said, I don't typically choose favorite things right but as you know i am a proud harry potter fan proud hufflepuff <laughs> and i call this my huffle duff anytime we're going anywhere and i need a bag i just grab my huffle duff it's actually a very decent size it's got you know a really nice strap on it and everything i actually got this in one of the first it might have been the second harry potter crates when they first started doing the wizarding crates you got a nice little pin with it it's just it's really subtle but it says my fandom. That's what I went with. A useful item that is always my go-to grab. So I guess you could call it my favorite. I'm a puff and I'm proud. No, I'm not one of the crowd. I'm in the right house. Maybe I was started this way. Well, for my next item, this is a little bit of a sentimental item. I have here a Spider-Man bus. Oh, Spider-Man's going crazy. This used to belong to a dear friend of mine. In fact, I don't throw the word brother around a lot, but this man was my brother. When he first got this, because he was a huge Spider-Man fan, he was so ecstatic to have a bust of <laughs> Spider-Man. I finally got that wall-crawling sack of garbage. However, he had a little brother who <laughs> was a bit mischievous at times, and he was terrified that his brother would destroy it, so he actually kept it at my place for a long time. Now, eventually, once he got his own place, he did take his Spider-Man back. 
it was actually after I lost my brother and he passed away that I was able to uh, be reunited with Spider-Man. His mother and sister asked me if there was anything of his that I would ever want to remember him by. And honestly, he never really hung on to a lot of stuff. And they rattled a few things off and they said, what about the Spider-Man bust? And it clicked. Yeah. I was stunned that he still had this thing and obviously <laughs> unbroken. Yeah. And ever since then, I have had this on display. You know, and I don't really mind either because of my fairly recent love of Spider-Man and Spider-Verse and Spider-Gwen, so to me it was perfect. Oh, man! Wow! You know, Spidey, I've always wanted to experience real web-slinging. Back to you. This one, I actually can 100% say it is my favorite item. The DK Barrel! <laughs> This is more famous than we are, not that we're famous, but we have taken this to every convention since I created it, and people recognize it before they recognize us. We've actually had people come up to us and go, oh, hey, I recognize the barrel. It's you guys. Yeah, so, we're just you guys, but this is the DK barrel. <laughs> Apparently, we're the handler for the DK barrel. A couple of years ago, we were at the Springfield Indoor Garage Sale, and I saw a bunch of people carrying around these shopping trolleys. You know what? When we get home, I'm going to look up those trolleys. In the midst of looking for it, I found this wine barrel, and that's all it is. It's a wine, rolling wine barrel, and I looked at it. I bet I can put the DK logo on that, make it nerdy, and use my shopping trolley when we go to garage sales and this one when we go to conventions. It has been so fun that we never use my shopping trolley. This goes everywhere with this. It doesn't matter. I'm surprised we actually still have it though. We've had a few people, Captain Algebra, try to steal it from us a few times. <laughs> Son of a... Not that this was in any particular order, and in all honesty, six months from now, this whole list is probably going to change anyway, but the number one prized possession in our collection, uh, I'm gonna go with the game room. The toy room. When we were growing up, we definitely did not have the means to have as much stuff junk as we have now. These rooms are constant testaments and reminders to just how far we've come in our lives. We have worked together to get a house mm -hmm. and to fill it with all of this stuff. And one of our favorite things to do is have people over and just kind of stand back and watch them do a little tour of yeah. the place and revisit so many things that they remember to watch that nostalgia gleam in their eyes. That was one of the things when we decided we wanted to buy a house, we made sure to find something that had enough room for a game room. The things that we love about this game room are the memories that we've made here with various game nights. We like to keep reminders in here of just how far we've come as a channel and memories of the awesome people that we've met by starting the channel do you nerd and in all honesty if it wasn't for this room and the toy room we probably never would have started this channel when we set up this house with all of the stuff that we had <laughs> in it we got to looking around and thinking you know what lots of people love the tabletop games lots of people love video games lots of people love toys and movies why don't we share this love, this fandom, this nerdiness with the world? So if it wasn't for these rooms, we would never have started this channel and never would have talked to you guys and gotten to know so many of you. So what better way to share that love of nerdiness by, uh, let's throw a couple of tags out there. Who are you thinking? JLove81. Oh, that's a good one. Yes, she's got I, some cool she's stuff. She's got some cool stuff and I want to know just what some of her favorite things are. Who else? T-Belly. Oh. Let's go with T-Belly. <laughs> Let's see what Wario has to say about this. That was a horrible impression. I apologize. You know what? I want to get some of the retro refresh guys in here. Oh, that's so, a good uh, idea. I'm, I'm thinking Chronic Spartan. 
you'd probably have some fun stuff to show off. What, what are some of those favorites that you have? How about Telesplash? Oh, yeah. He's got some good stuff, too. But what are some prized possessions? And anybody else in the Retro Refresh or anyone else who would like to respond to this video, please do because we want to know what some of your favorites yeah. are. And if you happen to make a video, leave a link down in the comments so that we and everybody else can go check it out. At this point, give the video a like. Leave some comments about what you think of any of these or any of your favorite things if you don't want to make a video. Be sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell, check out Pixel Game Squad. Sayonara, senorita. Or senorita. Senorita? Senor. Senor is the male version of senorita, right? Whatever. All right, see ya. Don't forget to like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Go over to Tee Public. We have merchandise over there. Go hit us up on the Retro Refresh. Don't forget... If we like it, we nerd it. Oh, yeah. <laughs>